All right, welcome back to another episode of The Bee's History. So, I finally got enough lemon cakes to purchase this. I can finally do it. I can also purchase the claws if I wanted to. I can almost purchase both. But I think I'm going to save for this one after this. So let me buy that. Take all my stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff it just took. But I have the crab inch hat. Something insanely cool that happened is I got the mythic bee. I was just using royal jelly off camera trying to, you know, maybe get a couple more star bees in my hive. And then I just rolled a frozen bee. <laughs> That's actually so cool. Frozen bee is like so good. It has like two abilities. I'll show you them in a second, but they're both super cool and pretty good. Alright, so here's one of the abilities. You see it's a little snowman thing, and it summons like four snowmen that just hop around, and uh, you uh, walk through them, and they explode, and it's kind of like a bomb, and I'm pretty sure when they walk over flowers too, they also like uh, regenerate them, and then this is the second ability right here, Ice Shard. Oh, I'm full, so it didn't activate. Uh, I'll show you that. Alright, there's a shard ability again. So it just launches shards everywhere, and it collects a ton of pollen. Like, it just collected so much pollen so fast. And that's its, like, best ability. It's better than the snowman one. I mean, the snowman one is alright. It's not that good, though. And also, the snowman can just run completely out of the field and be completely useless, too. So that kind of sucks. But yeah, that shard ability is so good. It's actually such a good bee. It collects so much pollen. It also has, like, a super high base collection uh, stat, too. Oh, we got the snowman again. There's so many snowmen. Look at them all. Oh, my goodness. There's so many snowmen. Anyways, yeah, I think this bee is so cool. It's so unique, and I really like the snowmen running around. I think it looks really cool. Alright, also another thing. Since I already bought Jacko Bee, I was looking at other stuff in the shop. and was like, okay, it's, it's not very good. This is 20 for one magic flower. It's not very good. And then it's only 10 for one mega pizza. I mean, I could also spend it on moon shards, but those are five each. And I'm like super far away from those items anyways. And I think Mega Pizza is the best option. 10 candy is so cheap. Because whenever Jacoby throws candy, it throws 13. So like, Jacoby just throwing candy once you can already get yourself a Mega Pizza. So I'm just going to spend all of it on Mega Pizza. <laughs> like, look how many Mega Pizzas I can get. 18 Mega Pizzas, bro. Mega Pizzas give so much bond too. So I can like level up like so many of my bees super far. Like, I don't know how many Mega Pizzas it takes. Like, how many do I have right now? Where are they? Mega pizza. 27. 27 mega pizzas. So, like, if I wanted to get my Jacoby up again, I could do that. Five. Only five mega pizzas. And it goes up to level four. Like, it's so good. And I can do that. Only five. That's only 50 candy. And I can level up some of my other stuff. Like, what? I want to level up this star bee to level two. Only two mega pizzas. See, now I have some pretty good level bees. I'll save Mega Pizzas for when I get, like, Chef B and Narwhal B, because I want to get those up to level 4, too. I wonder how many it takes to get it up to... Level... It only takes 7. Only 7. Oh, he just threw it. Oh, I don't think I'm going to get up the Apple Tree. Unless there's, like... I'm pretty sure there's some way you can, like, climb up here. Is it right here? No, oh, you can. Right here. Oh, 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 I was so close. Oh, what? I can't even see. Where am I? Um, uh, how do I get up there? Is there, like, an invisible wall up here? Oh, no, I did it. I did it. Oh, no. Oh, it's already gone. Okay, so that's how you get up there, I guess. You're really fast. That's actually really nice. I'm gonna start doing that. That's so much faster. But anyways, yeah, some good progress. I can't believe Mega Pizzas are only 10 candy each. That's actually such a good deal. You can get, like, all your bees up super high level doing that. Alrighty, after I claim this stuff right here, I can turn this quest in. Perfect. Hmm, you did it. There are only two quests left. See you soon again. Alright, two more quests. That's it. That's all we gotta do. Ready for another quest? This time it's Purple Pollen. The second part of the final three quests. Chef B still believes in you. He wishes you good luck. Alright. So, 8.5 million pollen, 5.5 purple pollen, and 10 tomato sauce. How many tomato sauce can we cook right now? Let's see. Six. Alright, that's not bad. We need to get enough for four or more. I think, what was it, 40 tomatoes? So we need... 160 more tomatoes total, right? 160 tomatoes total. Oh my goodness, that's a lot of tomatoes. Alright, how many do we have right now? Did I have, just have zero? Did I have exactly 240, I guess? I 160 tomatoes. Wait, is that right? Yeah, 160 tomatoes. Am I tripping? Yeah. 
40 times 4, 160. That is a lot of tomatoes to get, my goodness. Huh. Alrighty, I finally finished this quest. This quest took hours and hours to do. This is like, it took so long to do. I hope there's not that many quests. Alright, 10 magic flowers. Okay, that's nice. 350k honey and some candy corn. Hmm. Seems like that. Okay, still no dialogues. Alright, whatever. Alright, what we got here? 50,000 purple pollen from potato fields. 50 brilliant star tokens. That's kind of a lot. Cook 5 mega pizzas. Oh, that's not good. And defeat 20 telsks or whatever. Hmm. Alrighty, I just claimed the last tomato sauce and the quest is done. Chef B is a great friend of mine, you know, but I can understand that he wants to move on. You see, you both will probably go on many adventures. I know that Chef B would love to be a part of that. Hey, we even met each other by accident. He was cooking something delicious, even giving me the recipes of some of my dishes, but I know that he should move on someday. Maybe even today if you beat my final quest after this one. Oh, sorry. I got a little bit carried away. Hey, take your rewards and prepare for the next quest. Alright. Good. Some good stuff. Oh, hello there. Are you ready for the final quest? After this quest, you'll obtain my beloved bee, Chef Bee. I know that I may lose a bet, but if it's for the better f for my friend, it's fine. Hmm. I think I shouldn't talk too much. My end fam finally give you the quest. It's not a that hard quest, but oh well. You need to prove somehow that you're worthy to take care of chef b see you soon again good luck all right 10 million pollen 7.5 million white pollen and 10 carrot pies and then defeat one old leaf let's see how many okay i can't even cook any i need 25 wheat per carrot pie oh that's not good 25 times 10 250 I get 250 wheat tokens. Alright, that might take a little bit. But, I do, after that quest, have 500 magic flowers now. So I can go get Narwhal B. Alright, here we are. Narwhal B. Using its life-stealing ability, Narwhal B consumes soul of flowers. It's a water being, but with its modified body, it can now live on the surface too. Perfect. Narwhal B egg. It doesn't have a special sprite. It just has the basic egg sprite for some reason. I don't know why. But hey, it's fine. Anyways, let's let's hatch this now. I don't know what bee I want to get rid of. I'll get I guess I'll probably get rid of one of the witch bees, I guess. Yeah, I might as well just get rid of a witch bee. Alright, let's put it. Let's put it right down here next to my jack jacko bee. Alright, so it still is, it still keeps the level even when you use an egg item on it too. So that's nice. So the levels are completely permanent, which is nice. And I think I'm gonna see how much I can level it up. Let's level it up to level two. Um level three. Uh I don't really have that much stuff to get it up. Uh, I'm gonna need a lot to get up to level four. Okay, I just got it up to level four. So now it's got some boots and stats, and uh, let's go test it out. Actually, wait, let's see what abilities it has first. I think it has, like, a lot of abilities, doesn't it? Abilities. So it's got Soul Taker, which is the main ability. Uh, okay, and then it also has three, all three boost. Wait, it's weatherless. Okay, so this is the only bee that's weatherless, I think, which is interesting. And it only has one unique ability, but it's got all three boost types, which is pretty cool. Narwhal Bee also has like a unique uh, animation. Like, look at it. It looks like it's like swimming in midair. It also has a tail too, a fish tail, which is pretty cool. Look at it. It's like doesn't move like all the rest of the bees. It like moves slower, like it's swimming in water, which is pretty cool. And its movement animation is like different too. I, don't know, I think it's pretty cool. It looks like a really cool bee. Oh, we got the new bee right, the new ability right here. Looks pretty cool. Let's get it. Whoa, he's like sucking all the, it's like, I guess he's sucking the soul out of the flowers, I guess. Look at it, he even has a unique animation. Oh, you could barely see it, but his like face turned different for that. I don't know how much I collected. I didn't really get to see. 
don't know. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's see it again. Alright, here's the ability again. Let's see, how much is it collecting? It doesn't look like it's collecting that much, to be honest. I don't know. It doesn't... Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. It doesn't seem to be that good. Like, it, my pollen per second barely went up at all. It went up, like, maybe 1,000. I don't know. It didn't look like that much. Like, honestly, I don't know. I mean, it's like a really cool bee, and the ability looks really sick, but it didn't really look like it collected that much. Hmm, I don't know. I feel like Jackal Bee and uh, the Mythical Bee are way better than Narwhal Bee, but Narwhal Bee still looks pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool bee. Alrighty, the final quest is complete. I just need to claim these 10 carrot pies, and it's done. Now we get Chef Bee. Huh, you did it. That went faster than expected. Oh, look how joyful Chef B got upon your arrival. I'm sure he's already excited to go with you on a great, greater adventure. But I have to say, thank you. Thank you for helping me out by completing my quest. And also thank you for prov proving that you are able to take care of my precious bee. Like I said, I am sure you both will have a great time. Well, this may be a last goodbye. Uh, I think I should give you your awards you already here there you go thank you for helping me out i'll still stay here to help you cooking the dishes hey that's also why i'm here sorry i think you're still busy with the other books see you soon again goodbye 25 brilliant stars banana bread chef egg egg flowers and 3 million honey all right nice what happens if i talk to him now oh hello go and you complete all my quests and yeah see you again soon all right, well, that's the end of his quest line. So the only quests left in the game are just these Jacoby quests. But I don't know how I'm going to do five Mega Pizzas because I need to get so much more stuff to do those. Because Mega Pizzas are so expensive. Alrighty, let's hatch our Chef Bee. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I'll put it... Let's put it right up here on this Witch Bee. Hey, perfect. We got our Chef Bee now. Alright, let's get Chef B up to like level 4 or something. Okay, I got him to level 4. Perfect. So, let's see. I don't even know what ability he has, I think. Uh, it just like gives you a random like thing. Okay, he's also weatherless. So, he has all three boost tokens. And then Chef random. Gives a random boost from food for 25 seconds. So, yeah, it just gives you a random like boost that the food items give, but only for 25 seconds. So, I mean, it seems alright. I mean, it doesn't seem that great, but, I mean, yeah, it seems alright. Let's go uh, test it out. Alright, there's Chef B's ability. So, the hat just comes up and it gives you a random thing. So, what is it? Orange flower tea. Uh, so, 1.5 times purple pollen and extra B attack for 14 seconds. Or 25 seconds, but, I mean, I don't know. I feel like 25 seconds isn't a whole lot. And it seems to not make the ability very often, because I, like, filled up a whole nother time before this. And he, Oh, no, he made it again right now. Alright, never mind. I was, like, did a whole fill up before this, and he didn't drop this token once. So I think I might have just got early on a lucky or something. I don't know. Anyway, so yeah, it does seem pretty decent. I do have every bee in the game now, which is pretty cool. I can't wait till more mythical bees are added. I think... That, that's gonna be really cool. Um, I'm really close to getting the biggest bag, so I'm just gonna save up for that real quick. It shouldn't take too much longer. I just need a little bit over 3 million. Okay, maybe just a little under 4 million, but yeah, if not, it shouldn't be terrible. I'm gonna continue the grind up for this quest, though. Because, I don't know, getting 5 mega pizzas just takes forever. You need so much stuff. I need 200 tomatoes just for 5 mega pizzas. It's kind of kind of stupid how much you need. Alrighty, I got a hundred million of uh, honey now. So, you know what that means? I can't buy this. Alright, why can I not buy this? What don't I have? Huh? I have 65 gold stars. Oh. I need more blackberries. Alright, give me a second. Oh, this also kind of sucks because I need blackberries for the mega pizza too. 
So then I'm gonna need to grind another 125 blackberries after this too. To make five mega pizzas. Uh oh, this is unfortunate. Alrighty, now I have enough to get it. Finally. Now how much do I have? That like what doubled my capacity? That's pretty good. I have way more capacity now, that's so nice. Hopefully that'll help with collecting all the stuff I need for the mega pizza, because then I can stay in the field for longer and get more of the fruits and stuff. So hopefully this will help. Alrighty, finally I made the five mega pizzas and I complete Jacoby's quest. Oh, I also got the badge. Because there's an achievement for making five mega pizzas. Or maybe it's something. Yeah, it's baked five pizzas. I was an achievement for that for some reason. I don't know, but hey, we complete that quest. Uh, still no dialogue. It's 25 magic flowers. Good thing I already got Narwhal with me. 25 magic flowers, that was a, actually a lot. Still no dialogue. And W for watermelon. I'm pretty sure this is the second to last quest. There's one after this. Um, I mean, this one's simple, but it's going to take a while. Food for 50 watermelon tokens is kind of a lot. And 30 million from wheat and meadow might take a hot minute. So, yeah, I guess I'll get grinding in that, and, uh, hopefully I can do it. I mean, what, there's, like, three days left in the event? Uh, I don't know. It's gonna be really close if I can complete both these quests or not. Alrighty, I'm done with this quest. It took... It took a while. It took, like, four hours, probably. Yeah, probably about four hours of straight grinding. Four and a half, maybe. Maybe even five. I don't remember exactly what time I started this quest, but it took a while. Perfect, some honey and candy corn and stuff like that. Perfect. Hmm. No dialogue still. And this is the last quest. Perfect. So I need to collect a thousand candy corn tokens, which is kind of a lot. Uh, that might take a little bit. I got three days left. I think I can do this in three days. It's gonna take a while. Um, if I have solar essence, that's not that bad. I mean, I have to run around and I have to find one of those, like, solar plant things or whatever. And defeat 35 of each mob. Which, uh, I'll just have to remember to defeat them whenever I can. And then 25 million of each pollen. Complete 5 ladybug quests. And a million from each of the starting fields. A million from each of the starting fields really isn't that much at all. It's like 2 fill-ups. So uh, this part's gonna be super easy. Um, yeah, other than that, it's a pretty tough quest. It's gonna be pretty time-consuming. Alrighty, so I finished the bottom two parts of the quest. One million from each of those starter fields, and I also have enough to get the last two things on the cauldron, which is pretty good for the premium pass. 25 mega pizzas, that's pretty good. And it's kind of sad that uh, there's a limit on how much stuff you can buy, because I like kind of bought everything there is. Even like the vent tickets, the brilliant egg. The last thing is just magic flowers, and I just maxed out the magic flowers too. So, I maxed out everything I can buy on there, so, yeah. It, what kind of sucks is that, uh, they get the Crabinch Claws, I need about 300 more, uh, blueberries. Or blackberries, I mean, not blueberries. So, I'm gonna have to sit here and grind, and this field is kind of slow on filling up, compared to some other ones. So, I'm gonna have to be doing this. So it might take a little bit longer, but I need all the blackberries, because I need 10 blackberry jam, and then on top of that, 150 blackberries to get the crab inch claws. So it's a little bit of a grind. And to get 8 more, and I still need 100 more blackberries, on top of that I need 300 more blackberries, so... Yeah, a little bit of a grind. Yo, I just got an amulet from the old sleeve. I forgot you could get this. 18% critical power, 8% critical chance, and 7% pawn from collectors. I'll take that. That's nice. That'll hopefully help me. Does it follow me around, or can you not see it? I don't know. Finally got enough blueberries, or blackberries, to buy this. Okay. Serious. Oh, wait, no. I need to claim my last one. I have one cooking that I need to claim. Alrighty, now I can purchase these. So I finally got all the stuff from this shop. So hopefully that helps me collect a lot better. Oh, this animation is kind of cool. You like reach out and grab it. Alright, I really hope uh, this speeds it up a lot. I've been making pretty good progress on this quest. I am over halfway done, I'd say. So yeah, I mean, we're getting pretty close. I mean, it's only been like 
four hours. But yeah. Yeah, I'd say this is collecting faster. I'd say it's giving quite a lot, and it's, I think the rate is faster too than the other collection thing too. So yeah. Hopefully this speeds it up a lot, because I don't want to spend so much longer on this quest, because it's getting kind of boring grinding. Alrighty, here we are, the final little bit of pollen, and we've completed the quest. It only took all day. Like, that took so long. Oh, my goodness. Anyways. Take my rewards, perfect. A ton of honey. For some reason, only wait, one one zero point zero one k. Is that like eleven million? Is that how much that was? I think that was like eleven million. All right, good. Some magic flowers, ten of each magic item, which is good. Super jellies, twenty five super jellies, and a brilliant egg, and then fifty candy corn. Candy corn is useless. Oh, wait, we also got the back pump accessory, and now we have no quest anymore. Um... Huh? I guess he still has the dialogue of before the back pump was added. Okay. Anyways, so we finished all that, and uh, I guess the next thing to grind for in this game is the magic, like, uh, equipment up there. But that stuff is crazy expensive. Not really, I mean, the honey wise is pretty expensive, but compared to like the honey, the honey really doesn't really matter that much compared to how much items you need. I got most of these from this board, but I can't buy anymore because I guess I bought the max I can. But yeah, I need to get 250 for the staff and hat, but I only need like 150 for the boots. But you also need a crazy amount of like some other stuff, like you need like 25 of uh, some like. Like, I think for the night ones, you need 25 blackberry jam, and then you also need, like, 250 blackberries on top of that or something crazy like that. So that's gonna take hours and hours of grinding more. So I guess I'll just do that stuff off camera, I guess, and just wait for the next update. That's really all I can do. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.